with her at the wedding, her sister's wedding, and it, they were kind of funny, and maybe not the best pictures, I'm assuming, because she texted those pictures to Lauren, and Lauren never, she didn't say anything, um, the friend didn't think anything of it at first, but kept sending those pictures, but no reply from Lauren. According to the friend, she was expecting Lauren to say, if you share that on your social media, you're dead. Those pictures are not the best. Do not do that or I'm gonna be mad at you. Lauren never replied and I mean, it's been days, so she started to worry and decided to call Ashley, Lauren's friend and one of the girls that was at the last party to go and check on Lauren just to make sure that she was okay. Ashley thought that maybe Lauren turned off her phone in the efforts of studying, but she said to this friend, and at this point also Lauren's sister, that she was going to go check on Lauren. She went and she saw Lauren's car parked outside. She thought, well, maybe she's avoiding the family, you know, whatever. Uh, but I'm sure she's fine. Her car is there, so she should be okay. A few hours later, Lauren's sister was still worried and asked Ashley to go check and talk to Lauren. So Ashley, something made her feel like maybe something is wrong. So Ashley and her boyfriend decided to go check on Lauren. They grabbed a spare key that I don't know if she had or if Lauren kept somewhere. They got inside and they couldn't find Lauren, but they did find her purse and um, her wallet. Her purse, her wallet. What else? And uh, her keys, ID money, everything was there. And so they started to worry because they knew that Lauren would not leave without it and her car was there. So it almost seemed like she went for a run, left the house as it was, and then never came back. The other interesting thing is that this was the end of the month and she was supposed to leave the apartment the next day. And there were no boxes and nothing ready to move. Now Lauren was supposed to move with David to Atlanta, but when Ashley called David, even though she didn't like him that much, he said that he had no idea where she was and that he hasn't talked to her for a few days. So Lauren's friends and classmates got together to start a kind of a, their own search party. One of the things that they found was a receipt from a restaurant on Saturday night. So that was the next day after they saw her for the studying party that they had at the bar and then at Joe's house. Lauren was visiting prisoners and she was very active there because of her idea of being a public defender. So a lot of people started worrying about maybe she got a stalker um, the neighbors I mean everyone got together to look for her and what they found was an email that she sent that Saturday night after the restaurant to David saying that she thought that somebody was stalking her and somebody trying to break into her house and that she was very very scared now at that point Lauren's dad decided to go to Georgia. He drove 11 hours from Maryland to there and uh, he went straight to police headquarters. Apparently, at that point, the police was already called and involved and they were using, you know, the kind of a crime scene investigation protocol at her apartment. That is not common. She was the kind of person that was too social and she wouldn't leave without telling anybody. So they were treated.
Thank you.